What has this zombie sticker got? What's he got? The fingers missing. How many fingers did you want missing though? One. Just one. What did Danny do? Two. He put two, didn't he? Tell him how silly he is. You're so silly. You're so silly, Danny. Right then, so the start of another vlog maybe. I don't know whether it'll be end of another one, we don't know. But the cars are pretty much ready. We've just had this back on the dyno after we've done the uh, oil cooler. So we put we put one on here at the front. They've nicked this off the city go for now. Didn't really want to have to cut into this, but there's nothing else we could do because while well, ever we had it in front of the intercooler, the charge temps got too hot. And if we had it behind the radiator, it compromised the cooling capabilities. So it is what it is. We um, a bit noisy with George doing donuts in the background. But we, um, yeah, so we've done that. It's a lot better. We did find the problem was, originally when this engine was built, they'd put the, uh, they'd put an insert in the wrong place on the oil core, so the oil were actually bypassing the oil core, which is quite annoying, really. So we sorted that out. It's been on the dyno, and that's all fine. I'd have to double check what the uh, what the figures were because I ain't got them to answer. Everybody who uh, knew what it was weren't here just before I uh, started I'm doing a little bit of babysitting for a vampire. But um, so this one's sorted, ready to rock and roll. The only thing we have done, I don't know if people noticed from the video before, it was a bit difficult getting it into fifth gear. So we've made that move it a little bit closer to you. We are having to chop and mess about with a load of other stuff. So hopefully that works. I've not even tested that out, to be honest. And we've also made some extra brackets to move the mirror into a better place so you can actually see what you're doing. Make sure you to look quite high up, which a bit dangerous really because we're going to be on track with stuff that's probably 30 seconds a lap quicker so we need to be very careful so as you can hear now it's zombie stickers. Yeah, oh it's some more zombie stickers it's test mark 2's finished so I'm assuming that's done what it needs to do on the dyno so the idea behind these zombie stickers I think we're uh, I think we're ready to load that straight up the, uh, the reason went for the zombie stickers is what George wanted. He just randomly said he wanted some zombie stickers. It's obviously tied nicely for Halloween. And um, I think we sold every one of them that we'd, that we'd had originally, as well as putting them on the cars. But what we did want to do, we have some of these so that we can stick them on all the different cars, Dylan's as well, so that we can differentiate all our cars to other people. So. We've got the diesels, we've got the Seats, obviously Steph Mark II is the exception, and then they've all got zombie stickers on, so should be good. Sick donut, George. Loves it. So, that's the idea behind it. Scott weren't too keen on it, but we don't always listen to what Scott has to say. And he's on holiday messing about now, so we... Uh, we don't really care what he thinks. So I think we've got, that's getting loaded onto the truck now, which needs all these silly little bits to make it work. It's a bit annoying. Just because it's so low, the front bumper even taking that off doesn't make it much better. The beef is all sorted. We haven't had to do anything with that other than bleed the brakes, change the brake pads, which we did that while we're at the track. Um, so that's, that were all ready to go before we even got it here really. I don't think we've, I think we've just got it on ramp and had a look around it, make sure there's nothing else hanging off. Um, oh, we've put a pair of, a new pair of front tyres on, not because they're wore out, but just because it's going to be going out for a long time. So they're on there, but looking at the forecast, we're not going to need them. Um, so yeah, Stress Mark 2's done, Liam's done, the beef is done. I'm going to have to get another trailer for tomorrow for the Mark 2. So other than that, we're all good to go. So 
so we're all loaded up everything's all on the trailers on the trucks the vans are all full we've got another van it's not a volkswagen i'm sorry but we've got another van with some crap in it as well so we're all ready to rock just had a little bit of a meeting everybody knows what crack is so it's either all going to go to plan tomorrow or go to pot so see you down at silverstone So we've just got here, rushing about a little bit because it's we've got here in good time, got here at five o'clock. That's when scrutineering started and the queue were quite small. So we've scrutineered all cars. They're happy with a beefer. Um, that's absolutely fine. I've got a tech, I've got a, a mount for my uh, radio kit to the side of my helmet to put it underneath. So it's in the padding, not on the, the shell. So that's a tip for people. Don't stick out to your helmet. Um, so yeah, the beef is good. The Mark II, for some reason, the kill switch were tested before we came and they've been trying to kill it with kill switch and it's made absolutely no difference. So Paul's going to have a look at that wire inside of things and figure out what's up with that. Um, Craig can't start car, so I'll figure out what's up with that. They've killed it, haven't they? So you press yeah. that. And then it should. There. I was going to be in here for an hour. Go on. So, that's all good. We didn't expect any problems with that. Don't know why they said that about my kit bag this time, because last time I raced, I didn't say out about it, and it was in the exact same place. So, Craig's just heading off to the garage. The Leon is just there. I think Scott's getting involved with pushing somebody else's car. So, I think, um, see what happens with that, basically. So we get in there now, it's a bit carnage. The other team that we're sharing garage with, not quite sure where they've gone. Obviously there should be another car kicking about somewhere. I think there's one under the cover there, part where we should probably be. But anyway, that is what it is. We just about saw with this, brake bulbs for some reason decided to blow, even though we've only just put some new ones in. So see what happens with that. And then the kill switch on the outside, even though it's a brand new cable, that wouldn't pull. So were told quite a number of years ago that if you wanted to have a kill switch use the Cartec electrical ones which is what we've got in the beef for them for the um, Mark 5 Golf not these silly cable ones and that like I said it's brand new and it nearly seized up couldn't even pull it so sorted that I've got to shoot back round to screw it in and get them to sort just to give them the tickets stick them in the window and Scott's put number 13 on with a few lines and a few bits missing and some bubbles in these E's and B's, that's basically the driver. So I think I'm B in this one. Um, Scott's only A in that one, so he's only one driving that. And then um, in the Mark II Golf, that's C and F, which that's, it only matters what order they're in, A, B, C, D, E, F, for qualifying, because that's limited to each class. But for the race, it doesn't make any difference. But. I'll try and explain a bit later on, but we'll get this round to scrutineering and see how we get on. We've got the 
ticket, no messing, four were up to them. We'll get back to Gary and see if we can actually get all wet tyres for all and we get on a wet set. So Dylan's here now. We've got his zombie stickers on. They're all sorted. George will be proud. All the cars are in. We've got somebody next to us, but when I saw them cars turn the other way, I thought it makes sense. That, and these guys look like they've been here a few times because their stickers are a little bit worn out. It makes sense that they've been here before. And we've just asked them, and yeah, we're not going to be able to drive out of this door to go to Quali. So we're going to have to get all cars out of that way in the morning, but not a big deal. We'll uh, sort that out first thing. So all the cars are ready. Rear next windows, anti fog on the inside. All the wet tyres on, all the wet setup on the suspension, everything's ready to go. So we're not praying for rain. I don't care if it's dry, but we've just got loads of work to do if it dries out at any point tomorrow because swapping back is going to be a bit of a pain. I don't know if uh, how much footage Danny's got at garage, but it's absolutely rammed. So painful. So see you in the morning.